Hey everyone, the name is Eric Thor, and today we're starting a new show, The Road to Self-Actualization. Okay, the goal of this series is quite simple. It's to use the ideas and insights that I've gotten from personality psychology to achieve self-actualization. So this is both a series for myself and my own personal journey, as well as something that I think you can all join in on and use for your own personal benefit and personal development. Expect interactive exercises and tips and tricks and insight from various authors, from neuroscience, from psychology, and from philosophy to achieve your dream life, whatever that might be. The use of personality psychology comes from the idea that there is not one path to happiness, but many different paths depending on your unique personality. And the idea, the premise of personality psychology is that not only are we born with a unique DNA, a unique genetic code, which makes us unique individuals different to other people around us, but also are we put in a different environment, in unique environmental conditions that push and encourage us to develop certain traits and abilities. Essentially, what you want to learn is that yes, you're not born a tabula rasa, you're not born a blank page as people used to believe in philosophy but rather you're already born with certain predetermined personality properties and capabilities. And beyond that, these genetics are triggered and activated by your unique environment. And so we have to study not just who we were born to be, but also what environment we were put in and how that stimulated our growth. Essentially, like a plant, like a seed, we contain in us the DNA to become a rich and green and beautiful tree. But essentially, only if we're put in the right environment will we grow to be healthy, green, and nourished uh, people. Essentially, if we want to flourish, if we want to be happy, we have to think about what it is that we want. And so that is my question for you today. What is it you want? What are your unique genetic conditions that you were born with and on top of that what environment were you put in and how did that influence you to growing to who you are meant to be and what can you do to figure out who you're really meant to be how can you separate what other people want you to do and what other people are trying to push you to do so that you can flourish think of a bird that's raised by a group of hamsters to climb trees the bird was never allowed to fly was never taught how to fly, but has the unique capacity to fly. And ask yourself, what were the things that you were born with, the capacities that you had inside of you, that you never got a chance to develop? If you want to think more about this, and if you want to understand this idea even deeper, I recommend checking out my Patreon, patreon.com slash Eric Dorn. Here, you can take my Journey to Self-Actualization program and follow me day by day as we learn more about ourselves, our personality, and who we are really meant to be. Thank you so much for watching and see you all in the next video.